UV lashes. UV lashes. These doctors gonna have a field day with y'all. Lash technician got everybody talking because now we are not using UV light to fix lashes. Hey guys, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome to my channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. So this video is a video of a large tech sharing a new technology that is going on of her using UV light on a client to fix lashes and how probably this lash will not go off even with water and all that. And this idea of using UV light has gotten a lot of people talking but this video went viral and <laughs> the conversation mm. I want to know how far will you go to, especially us lady how far will you go for your beauty care your beauty your self care being done your nails your latch and all that how far will you go will you allow someone to put a UV light there in that eye place anyway guys let's go check out this video that got viral and got everybody talking let's go check it out and then we'll come back and talk more we are trying the new UV technology. Oh, you feel it? Oh, yeah, that was hot. Really? How'd it feel? It felt good. Okay. Okay, sit up. Mm -hmm. Something mm -hmm. you got? Oh, you guys! Yeah. So as I don't you know, why am I? I'm so worried. No, but at, no, it could be the glue. Now I'm telling you, mm -hmm. it could be the yeah. it could be the technology because mm -hmm. they don't eyes on never water. You never need to fade it. with this type of glue. It looks like you still need the fan, you guys. I got the fan on my eyes. The fan is still on her eyes. She don't never mm -hmm. use the fan. Never. <laughs> They eyes is a little red. They eyes <laughs> never be red. They are. Of course, their eyes will be red. And you will be light when just put there. Guys, let me know, like, what do you think about this procedure? Is this something you would do? Is this some, Are you a latch girl? Let me know down in the comments. Is this something you want to do? Is this something you want to try? Have you heard about this UV light lash thing before? Let me know your thought down in the comment section. But this got a lot of people talking. And I have a lot to say about this. Because sometimes I feel like sometimes we're doing too much. And even the look on the lash technician how even do you see that literally she's not even sure of what she's doing it's like trying an error with my eyes like that and that ooh. Mm -mm. anyway guys let's go check out people's thoughts on this and what they think about this new technology of using the uv light fixing latches okay and then we'll come back and talk but before we get into this video if you haven't subscribed to the channel what are you waiting for what have i done to you eh? i post video every day for you guys so please go ahead and subscribe okay and click the notification bell please do that so let's go check out this video and let me know what you think i want to know your thoughts and then we'll, i'll come back and share more of my thoughts i can't believe i have to say this but do not put uv light anywhere near your eyes on purpose that video, it's not funny, but that video with the lady <laughs> curing her uh, client's lashes with the UV light, what was funny to me is when her client said, ah, that hurt, and she said, oh, really? See, this is what happens when people don't value education anymore. Because when we say, oh, college is too expensive, maybe try trade school, that does not mean trade school is a get rich quick scheme. That does not mean that you can skip out on trade school because I'm pretty sure she does not have her esthetician license. And it also does not mean that you can go to school and play around and not pay attention because anybody who knows anything really about science, but especially about doing lashes or, or eye care, baby, you do not put UV light on somebody's eyes. The skims must be cutting off the circulation to y'all's brains because there's <laughs> no way you are laying on somebody's table and letting them shine a uv light into your eye to seal your lashes i know that's not what you're doing i know you are not letting somebody put the solar eclipse directly into your eye for lashes that you can get off of amazon that you could do yourself for real i could do this myself for real if i really really wanted to 
Do you know that some block goes up to 75 block? That's the highest I found. Correct me in the comments if there's higher. You guys get dumber and dumber by the second. And I've seen a couple creators talk about this. I had to look into it myself. Y'all like the same shining the UV light in your eye then turns around and offers you veneers. Oh my God. That's all I know. Trying to get your nails cured. So if you actually do some girl math on it, let's say you do 100 lashes per eye, your exposure is basically one to two seconds per lash that you These lamps are typically used to speed drive regular manicures. Some lamps are called UV lamps and some are called LED lamps, but both emit UV radiation. They predominantly produce UVA rays, which have been linked to both premature skin aging and skin cancer. This was written now five months ago. This was also on skincancer.org's blog. The fact that some of y'all are actually using a UV lamp to speed up the dry time of your lashes so close to your cornea, I thought I had seen everything. I thought I had seen everything go wrong on this app. Aren't really allowing lash tags to put UV lights on your eyes. <laughs> and the, the first video that I've seen of this was this girl's getting her lashes done and the lady was like putting the UV light on her um her her lash line to like put the lash on but she, the light must have slipped up and hit, like hit the lid a little bit and they were like ah and the, the the lash tech was like oh you felt that <laughs> what <laughs> hello what the f happening i listen i love my lash tech down she does really great work i wouldn't trust her to put a uv light on my eye i wouldn't trust myself to put uv light there i don't think a uv light should be there also y'all are guinea pigs to these to these lash techs who are offering mm -hmm. this service I personally, my opinion, I don't feel like there's enough research behind a UV light in somebody's eye to do a lash service that includes a UV light. There's a man on this app who's in the lash industry and he was talking about this whole UV light thing. And he said he reached out to three different manufacturers and asked them um, for like a like a safety certificate for the, for the lamp, for the light. Those three manufacturers sent him almost the same identical safety certificate with the same dates on them. Hello? Baby, it, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I would mm -hmm. not do it. Y'all about to sit up here and pay these lash tags $250 to $300 for blurry vision. <laughs> I still am seeing videos, cause now I'm seeing videos where like lash tags are putting like this blackout thing over like the eyelid. They said to um, protect the eyelid. Okay, but I'm still seeing videos where people are not even using that. They're literally just, you know, they're just, they're just testing it out. But if I'm seeing doctors here on this app um, telling us to put on sunscreen on our hands when we put our hands into a UV lamp to cure our nails, why don't you put a UV light on your eyes? <laughs> Use your noodle. UV lashes, UV lashes. These doctors don't have a field day with y'all. Y'all do not love yourselves enough for me. Y'all don't. Y'all do not care about y'all health enough for me. Because between the, the, the UV lashes, the basement braces, going to veneer technicians to get veneers, I don't know what to tell y'all. And when it comes to the UV lashes, why create a new way to apply lashes? The old way was not broke. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And even if it is broke, why are you breaking it more with UV rays? I think y'all are bored. I think that's what it is. I think that people doing services are bored and, and maybe they're trying to reel people in in a new way. I think that some people want to create something new and exciting to build clientele or I don't know. And I think that you have some people that want a little thrill. UV rays in your eyeball is not thrill. By 10, 15, 20 years, maybe more, maybe less, y'all gonna be sitting up in these doctor's offices and them offices is gonna be booked in full because look at what y'all are doing in the current. Y'all are paying these people to have possible short-term and long-term health issues. Mm -hmm. That's what y'all doing. The same way that them commercials used to run when we was kids about asbestos and like mesothelioma, that's, that's what's gonna be coming for y'all in the next few years. Look at my lips. Stop playing with your health immediately. I want to know your take on this UV light and what generally what you think about this. Do you think that this is a valid tech way? And have you done it? If anybody here has ever done this UV light, 
please go down in the comment section share your experience and let me know what you think about it generally because for me i find this very like scary i'm like this is not even interesting this is very very scary but i want to know you all take down in the comment section but please keep it respectful as always you're on this channel we're allowed to disagree but we'll do it in a respectful way so feel free to share your opinion but be respectful as always okay so yes my thought on this is that like most people have pointed out why were you even getting your nails done you know that all oh, your hands even get there's a research that said it's bringing cancer it's making your hand darker people are advising people to wear sunscreen because of the uv from the sun that and now you are bringing the sun directly to your eyes my one thing that there's one thing I know for sure, uh, maybe as a child, there's a fear of for anything coming to my eyes. Like, nobody's going to touch my eyes. I don't think anybody has ever touched. And, like, nothing. Nothing's coming close to my eyes. I've only gone to a large tech once, and that was this year. And by the time I was done, I was, like, never going back there again. Never, never. And it's not as if I personally, I can't do my lashes myself, which I do my lashes, my nails myself. Yeah, okay. Which I'm going to, I think I'm going to do my self care routine on my beauty channel. So, if you haven't subscribed to my beauty channel, your girl is trying to hit 4,000 watch hour there, which I will soon start posting on that channel because I haven't posted there for a while. Go check out the beauty channel, okay? So, let's get back to what I was saying. I do all that. I do my nails myself, even though this one's good. I do my nails myself. I do my lashes myself. I do my, my waxing myself. And with that, I don't think I can even allow anybody to play anything with my eyes because that's one part that is very sensitive. Like I said, I've only done it once in my life, allowing somebody to fix my lashes. And the fact that my eyes were closed and I didn't know what was going on for the last first 40 to 60 minutes is the most scary thing I've ever been through. Like, I don't like, I, I will never do it again. No, no, then not think of I'm lying down there and then you're putting UV light on me. Just even put you your hands on a UV light. You have this tingling burn on your nails. Then you're not putting it on the eyes and you get, and research has proven the eye area is the most sensitive area in your skin like generally your body the eye your eyes is the most sensitive and anything happened to your eyes there's you almost like no coming back there's almost like no correction and you are allowing somebody to do that to your eyes and most of these people doing it it's just like let's try it let's try it you're using me to do lab rats <laughs> like, i don't get it i don't get like yes i get okay we're trying to save bugs so we're trying to be innovating about things but there's something that does not make sense there's something that is just logical and there's something that is just common sense so i'm not insulting anybody but it is what it is like how will you just like somebody saying go and jump into fire how i don't know like people should just take a chill on this trend that is going up because clearly it's a trend and it's a thing people are actually lying down and people are putting uv light on their eyes these eyes I used to see. <laughs> then, big. <laughs> Do you see this face of the technician? She was like, huh? Like, it's still new to her. See, there's one thing I always advise people, as well as someone that that's in the beauty space that I used to own like a beauty shop before, is that you know what? Take your time, learn it. But one of the things you should look out for, it should not be a money grab thing for you. It should be more of safety for your clients and wellness. Generally for human beings, if you're providing any services, check out for the people you're providing your clients well-being. Is it safe? Is there um, research? Is there um, downtime to it? Is there side effects to it? And if you don't know for sure, if you don't have those facts, why are you using people as guinea pig? Why? Anyway, guys, I want to know your own thoughts about this amazing conversation down in the comment section, but please keep it respectful. As always, here on this channel, we're allowed to disagree, but I'll do it in a respectful way. Okay, so go on and share your thoughts. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the like button, because this helps YouTube to push up my content for more people to see and join in the conversation. And that will be you supporting this channel and this girl, yeah? And share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation, because that's what we do. We have banging conversation so go ahead and share this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i'll see you guys in my next video do see